hi guys good morning my name is irene thank you so much for clicking on this video today it's a very bright and beautiful um saturday morning i'm really excited for this because it's been gloomy for a very long time the, i don't know why it's september and uku has been raining almost every day but the sky looks clear it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day so um yeah i haven't vlogged for a minute so i'm kind of excited for this weekend i'm not traveling i've just been more love but i feel like i have some things planned that are gonna be exciting for you guys to watch so yeah um to start my morning i just wanna shower and do my skincare so i can just like sec my day start my day on a good note i'm just sure i'm gonna be in that shower for like a hot minute uh, that's my favorite thing to do these days. Like after I'm done showering, I just stand under the water. You know, my lizard tokens, but honestly, it's self care. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna show you my skincare routine because it's one month since I started a good skincare routine and the results are evident. Mm -mm. Like I've just woken up, I have no product on my face. Um, yeah, so let's let me go shower then to another bathroom after milk. Yeah, so see, I'm, I'm sorry if there's a lot of echo, but um, it's a small room. So I want to show you guys the skincare product that I use as I use them. The first thing I use to cleanse my face, I'm using my French camera, so this is coming out backward, right? I'm gonna put a picture here. So I use the CeraVe SA smoothing cleanser for dry rough and bumpy skin which is what my skin was while i was getting this uh to be honest i don't think my skin is dry but at the time that's what i was trying to it was so dry so that it was just like i used this and it was very rough and bumpy um the main ingredient for this cleanser is that it has three essential ceramides it has salicylic acid and hyaluronic <laughs> acid so this cleanser exfoliates without disrupting the protective skin barriers in case you're interested you can go and check more on salicylic acid um, yeah, so this is what i use to cleanse The ribbons. And then you use a clean towel to dry your face. And then go in with the CeraVe SS Smooth Thing Cream. I think SS stands for salicylic acid because that's like the main ingredients in these things. Same thing for rough, dry, bumpy skin. Um, so this moisturizes and exfoliates at the same time. That's enough. Usually, size is enough. Then for my sunscreen face, man, guys, they, everybody keeps saying this and it's true. Don't forget your sunscreen. So this is the sunscreen I use, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion. It's SPF 50, which is perfect. And it is it does not leave a white cast on it. People say you should put sunscreen at it two fingers long. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't I can. This is what I use exactly. Yeah. Maybe when I get more money in Kipura Pasa, Zuri, I'll put in two fingernails. Or, but when I'm going out, and I know I'll be under the sun a lot, I, I put a bit more. Thank you. 
So also tends to honor it's an honor honorary honorary. What that one mention um these glycolic acid toning solution. I use this at least like twice or thrice a week. I don't use it a lot and mostly at night. Um it really makes you prone to sunburns during the day, so it's better to use at night and then you wash it off in the morning, but it's a really good toning solution. So these with the salicylic acid together, chef's pieces. Guys, that's it for my skincare. So now I'm just gonna go get dressed and I'll see you guys. Open gym. Okay. I just finished I just finished getting ready. <laughs> I put on makeup and I have nowhere to go. Like I have no reason to be having makeup on. But I just wanted to look and feel good and I do so. Mission accomplished. Mm. This is how you look. I love it. So I'm out of breath. Uh yeah, anyways. So I said today's Saturday. Let me tell you guys a hack that I've been using that I've that has saved my life, literally. I don't even know if it's a hack or my thought, but this has saved my life. My weekends that that is. So I started doing my laundry and cleaning the house i mean like all the cleaning friday after work so i took a job i come i do my laundry like here's my laundry so i i do my laundry i wash the house i do every cleaning that i need to do friday after like i said i was finishing like at eight something and then now on saturday when i wake up everything is done my house is clean my clothes are clean so i don't have to like my, I, I use my weekends to rest and do other stuff like YouTube and not washing clothes. Until you wake up, if you are doing any, by the time you're finishing, it's already one. It's already as a shard. No, no. So you guys can do that as well. So I don't have any cleaning left. The only thing I have to do, I wiped these shoes yesterday. So I need to put these in the shoe rack. I wanted them not to be damp. And then I didn't do the shoes. But these are just the good dishes. But everything else is clean. So we've also been having issues with your weekends not being enough. I will do that. Just sacrifice your Friday. Umangane, umalize, then you wake up on Saturday. It is vibes. So let's draw the curtains and then put the shoes in the shoe rack and do those dishes. And then I'll tell you the next plan, which is so exciting. Uh, yeah. Do you guys love my bun? I'm not sure. I have a hate, love hate relationship with this bun, but yeah. I see, I look good though. So, I'm a very beautiful woman. Anyway, so let me draw the curtains and then I need to stick these back. They fell off, but I don't stick them along because I don't know if I'll be accurate. Ah, but we'll see. This for my birthday as a birthday gift by from my friends. Which birthday was it last year's birthday or my last year but one? I think last year. One of my favorite pieces in my house. So I put my keys, my masks. Love it. Thank you, girls. Thank you. <laughs>
on last week on Saturday, I had a dental appointment in Nairobi, so I had to leave Molo very early in the morning because I wasn't able to go on Friday because of work, right? So there's this match that comes for us. It comes for you if you book it in Kujaka Gate. So that's what I did on Friday. I booked it in Kasama and Kujaka Gate. But now, unfortunately, Friday and I train, trained a lot. So the Matt wasn't able to come to where I stay, Kabisa, because the road is not really good. So in the morning, they told me I have to walk all the way to the tarmac. And it's like a distance, and it's at 2 a.m. So I was thinking, do I not go or I just go? So I just prayed to God to protect me, and I walk. I started going. Now, immediately I opened the, the gate, my dog and my neighbors, my landlord's dog, they ran out of the gate, right? And started going, like, Zikanza Kimbizana. And at 2 a.m. So I was like, will I, my dog is still a puppy, it was eight months old. So I was like, will I start Kimbizana ring with it at 2 a.m.? Irudi. Konza, I'll insert a clip that I had just taken of it before I opened the gate. Iliko in Chafua. So I was already kind of irritated. Oh, so I decided because I'm just because the older dog likes escort, escorting people to where they're going. I'll just let them escort me because already I'm making book on general Mr. Zaki Mizana and I will just let them escort me to the tarmac and then they'll come back together. That's what I'm thinking. They'll come back to the to our home together. So we went, they took me. I was so happy they took me because it was really good company. See, I go sana when I had the dogs. So I went, got into the mat, and made sure I've seen them coming back now towards the direction of Kuja home. <sighs> Tell me why. That was at 2 a.m. At around 6.37, I call my landlord's son, and I'm like, hey, uh, have the dogs come back? And him, he had seen his dog, so he was like, hey, the dogs are here. But Kumbe, my dog didn't come back. Oh, my God. My dog didn't come back, or maybe it came back. They came back together. I didn't know how to get in the compound. Like, I don't know what, what happened, but it didn't come back. And it's been a week. My dog has been missing. I immediately called everyone I know. I even called my motorbike guy and told him to go around the the area to look for it. Everyone I knew, my landlord's son and my another friend of his, they walked around to try and look for it that same day. But we couldn't find it. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. I definitely cried some good tears because I've had this dog since Feb. I think it had just turned eight weeks when I got it. It was a puppy, bro. It was so small, so timid, so afraid. I got them when they were two with its sister, but I had to give up the sister because it was too much for me to handle. But then from February to now, I've been its mommy, I've been feeding it every day. And now it's gone. I don't know. We think someone took it because apparently people like dogs around here. And so someone might have taken it, seen it and taken it to their home. I just hope it's safe and it's being fed because I don't even know who is going to feed it. It's been so cold. I hope it's somewhere. It gets shelter. That's all I can be sure. I mean, I feel so bad as it is because I believe it's my fault. I could not have, I could have just gone back for it in Gizekwa Gate. But I did, so I feel bad. There's nothing anyone can tell me that can make me feel worse than I feel already. I feel so bad about it, but now this is what I do. And so the plan of the day right now is so exciting. Because we are going pl plant shopping. Woo -hoo -hoo. I've never had plants in my house, like real plants. I've never owned, I've never been a plant mom. But I feel like my house needs some green. So I want to go buy at least three house plants. I already know like what I have in mind. I think I'll find a large variety here because again, opus in Nairobi. But I'm so excited for the prospects of what I might find. Funny thing is I have no pots. I have no pots at all. Uh, so that has been as a letter lafu. What's next? I don't know how my mind works sometimes, but I don't care for the pots, like pots being extremely gorgeous right now because my idea is that I want to buy these baskets. So I want to put my plants in these kion this kiondo baskets. Okay. Let me call my friend and then find out if she's ready. 
alafu twende is a song i want to listen to on youtube i should listen to that before i leave actually This went to leaf, leafy ones. Oh. This one. This one is nice. I'll prefer this one dog. These are rose. It's like pink. Oh, I'm a summer. No, even this is not oh. a bad thing. Is it healthy? Hmm. Oh, they even men in this area. Oh, yeah. Is it how much? Mona to knock shoe. But it has a flower. I don't want a flower. Because my problem is pollen. You get to the cool guest news. Oh, hey. Is this Mexico, Kabisa? Is it your man? Ah, wait. What's it? the market later and I bought some groceries just some few few stuff and some fruits and then I made some lunch the lunch was definitely giving <laughs> kikuyu vibes kikuyu woman the waru nyama peas nakamushere and avocado and velvet that I just made um I just got it off the oven it's still very hot to so even remove it from here but as you can see it's not stuck so that's good so i'm done with that i'm so tired guys i'm so 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 tired it's almost 7 p.m i just want to go and shower have a really long shower and then i think i'll i'm not sure if i'm gonna decorate this cake today or tomorrow but we're gonna see so let me show you how the flowers look look right look like right now so these are the flowers i got this is the first one. Okay, I need to know their names, but I'm going to be putting their names on the screen. So this is the first one I got. This is the second one. It's like a palm tree. I really, really love this one. And this is the other one. Which I also really like. Um... 
and then there's this small one that I think I'm gonna put in small ceramic pots and have it um and have it where in the bathroom in the bathroom maybe so I know this these are not pots these are buckets <clears throat> I'm looking for someone who shonas viondo oku around like a local person or show show people who won't charge me an arm and a leg because I want to put those buckets inside those kiondos so that when I put them in the living room they are pleasing nuggets so that's why I didn't invest in like expensive pots because I don't want the pots showing I want those kiondos that I'm going to put pictures here I want those kiondos to be the ones showing and these buckets are like 120 bob so quite affordable and pots pots are like 400 or something like big pots so this is this bucket and then hide them in the basket and they're gonna look amazing in the house i also ordered another plant it's called what i'll put the name here in the picture i keep forgetting the one they had was really big and he was selling it at 500 he's like no way so he's gonna get me a smaller one yeah 250 i guess and then i'm gonna go for it that plant is my favorite plant the most beautiful plant i've ever seen in my life so yeah anyways guys let me go shower subscribe